Well, we are tracking a good bit of rain moving through this morning. The biggest spot of concern is going to be Monroe County. Up there, you are seeing a pair of thunderstorms right through this area right here. We're not looking at too much in the way of heavy rain. That has begun to back on off. But if you look further down towards the south, a lot of areas around Columbus all the way down through Cordill are dry. Now, this is where a lot of our weather begins to come on up in a situation like this. This is all going to be rain out ahead of that cold front, so things are looking pretty good good to start off the day, but we are still going to be looking at more chances of severe weather for later on this afternoon. For the most part, this morning's chances have just about wrapped on up, so that's good news for us. We just have to get through those few thunderstorms that are tracking through Monroe County and will soon be in Jasper and Putnam counties. Overnight tonight, we are going to see the clouds and rain moving out whenever this cold front officially passes us by completely, but we do have to get through those thunderstorms during this afternoon. Very good chance of severe weather, especially for those of you that live a little bit closer towards the coast. So looking at areas like Dublin closer towards Wheeler County to have that best chance of heavy thunderstorms for later on today. And you can see they're at a two out of five risk or a slight chance to see some severe weather as we get into that time. So a big thing that these storms need is going to be lots of fuel and the way it's starting off this morning. The fuel's really not there, which is why a majority of us just saw the heavy rain and really didn't see a whole lot in the way of say stronger thunderstorms or hail this afternoon. That's when things are going to be changing up quite a bit. Many of us around the mid-state are going to begin to see this orange begin to develop, and that means that we're going to see a good bit of that fuel developing during that time. So I really am tracking places like Eastman, McRae, Vidalia, up towards about Dublin as we get into the late afternoon and the early evening for that best chance of severe weather out there. Now, as far as what the models are showing us, it has a lot of that rain moving out, giving us a quick break in the early afternoon, but you can see some of these smaller cells beginning to move on in. It's little cells like this and this that could potentially produce produce things like hail and some stronger winds, which are going to be our two big main threats out there. So if you need to get outside, keep in mind wind is going to be the biggest thing to watch out for as these wind gusts could be as high as 40 miles per hour and the hail could be pretty big as well. Now I do want to show you this quick video real quick from Perry Smith of the heavy rain that moved through yesterday. This is also something else we can see as we get into the afternoon hours. And now here's going to be a quick look at your fish and game forecast brought to you by Harrison's Body Shop. The best time for later on today will be around 5.30. 